Hello everyone. Good day. This is SJ336. St. John 336. I'm Stephanie Jeanette. And again, this is a daily devotional presentation via video. We're on day 94. It's day 94 and this is the second day of a challenge um, that is to cover 32 days, preferably at least 32 days. <clears throat> okay, the suggested Bible study readings today, Deuteronomy 32, 36 to 47, and Acts 10, 9. From the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verses 36 through 47. It's very important that you read this, uh, particularly as the leader of the group. And then Acts 10, verse 9. I'm going to read Acts 10 and 9. King James Version first. On the morrow, as they went on their journey and drew nigh unto the city, Peter went up upon the housetop to pray about the sixth hour. And in the English Standard Version, Acts 10 and 9. The next day, as they were on their journey and approaching the city, Peter went up on the housetop about the sixth hour. Okay. Oh, suggested uh, praise and worship for day 94. It's by Kenny Rogers, one of my favorite singers. A Soldier's King is the title of the song, and it appears with the lyrics on a YouTube upload dated April 17th, 2013. April 17th, 2013, quite appropriate as that we break through is going to um, go out or start this year, 2019, on April 17th. Um, and that's a very profound, it's, you know, prayer testimony to the power of prayer. Remember, master seed faith is all we need. Christ's faith. And the entry. Okay, on this day, the host, or the host of week one, will begin to search out the needs of the neighborhood, the members of the group, the, the needs of the members of the group, the needs of the workplaces of the members of the group, etc. Okay, so now, this is not some narcissistic pursuit or, you know, business venture. It's just that because you are there with these particular five to eight people that you're selected and that have agreed to do this prayer warring with you. So you, you're, you're, the, you're the nexus, you know, what the point is we're expecting Christ Jesus through the Holy Spirit and the grace of God to show forth the concerns he would have us pray about through us okay so I mean God deals with us on a personal level but the response he gives us can e easily impact the world okay so it's not about us but he will bring things to our attention you know Moses was at the burning bush you know, he was at the bush. The Lord allowed it to burn without being consumed. Okay? He could have easily given someone else the vision who was not at the bush. But generally, he will deal with us directly. Um, he had Philip run and address the question that the Ethiopian uh, official had as he was trying to study the scriptures. Okay, so yes, there is an ethereal side of studying God, getting to know him. 
but there's also that direct moment, moments, you know, through us. And because we have a particular location, location interest bent, and these things he's put in us, okay? And he will show us these particular things and have us pray about them, okay? So, don't think of any part of you as useless. Look for the God angle. Okay, so let's start over. On this day, the host, now mind you, this is the second day of the foundational week of the challenge that I hope would last at least 32 days for you and yours. So on this day, the host, or the host of the week, host of week one, will begin to search out the needs of the neighborhood, the needs of the members of the group, the needs of the workplaces of the members of the group, etc. Seek out every ground for the opportunity to magnify our Lord in, for, or through there. You do not have to Bible beat anyone or any entity. Simply pray together and agree as the Holy Ghost moves you regarding any concerns our Lord God Almighty brings to your attention, heart, mind, soul, etc. Don't fear the, mirac the miraculous ways in which Christ Almighty begins and continues to move on your and others' behalves as you bring matters in your immediate vicinity to him in earnest. Also remain cognizant of the fact that our world is so global right now that some matters you begin to pray about may end up having a global angle regarding the matter, particularly regarding jobs, economy, and reaching souls for the kingdom of Christ Almighty. Use your local newspapers, hang out with the teens for a time, take a group of preteens, skating or bowling, etc., and get the skinny on whatever you can and pray about it, not as gossip, but as a change agent. You do not have to give all details, as God Almighty already knows. You don't have to get all details. Do some little extra thing with each age group in the area and let their hearts speak to yours. It doesn't have to be something long and drawn out, just up close and personal, so the love of Jesus is recognized as having been present. Okay, so basically, you, this is like a mission of um, recon. What do you call it? Recon. They call it a recon. It's a recognition mission. You you want to go out, or right, even just listen. If you have enough kids with varying ages, you can just listen to what they're talking about. Okay, um, you want to be doing that anyway, whether you, you know, whether you do this 32 day challenge or not. Um, so you got your local newspapers, uh, what else? you can go to parks, you know, where any place where people are playing, you know, kids are being exposed to so much right now. You can pick up a lot just on what they're doing, you know their behaviors, you know, there's certain behaviors they shouldn't have in their repertoire, but they have them, which means they've been exposed. You know, was it, maybe it was through TV when they were snuck and saw something, maybe not. Maybe it's something that's going on in their, in their surroundings, in their environment, um, whether under their roof or near their roof. Um, the elderly in your neighborhood, what are the concerns for the elderly? You know, get, you're basically wanting to f see others' concerns, not just your own, but others as well, because they're going to impact you anyway, whether directly or indirectly. Also remember, especially when it comes to teenagers, they're really looking for a challenge. As human beings, that's the age where we can take on a challenge because um, we're not directly responsible for certain things. I mean, you know, don't misinterpret that. Probably didn't say it the best way I could, but you understand what I'm saying. You know, they're not of an age where they're gonna go to jail for something, you know, not necessarily. But I mean, when you're not gonna be doing that kind of stuff anyway. Um, and so far we're not, 
in under such persecution that, you know, well, there there is some of it going on, but you understand what I'm saying? It's not widespread or general. You know. I know there are some places it seems like you can end up in jail just for going or saying things about certain bathrooms, but that's a whole other story. But, you know, and then, like, make your prayers. Keep them in the group. Um... This is not for eating. It's not for eating. So make sure, you know, you're either on an intermittent fast or you've already eaten. You know, if you're gonna get together and meet, um, or even if you're meeting through Zoom or what have you, you know. I think we have eaten our way out away from so many answers to prayers because we just keep eating instead of praying. A lot of times, you know, supposedly that's something that we all can do together or whatever, fellowship, you know, pray, pray, pray. Keep that first and foremost. Um, I mentioned, I believe it's in a prayer entry, you know, you can have something later on, you know, maybe a quarterly get together, or barbecue or something like that. <clears throat> but keep your focus on prayer when you meet. There's so often we end up eating or gossiping and you don't get any prayer stuff. Literally, do not allow eating. All right, so let's see. Okay, and now this is the intercessory prayer, which is basically an instruction on day two of this week of challenge that is to be 32 days. First two days was uh, preparing for the meetings. And so you got these next... Uh, days, <clears throat> but it's the foundation a week, and then you would rotate this week and do this like do that like four times for a total of 28 to 32 days of meeting together and praying together. Praying together, okay. You intercession, use this day to intercede on behalf of the unemployed, underemployed, and, and, and I would do this on Sunday nights. So Saturday was for church leadership. Sundays are for, you know, because usually the week is starting. So they don't actually don't suggest job hunting on a Monday because people might be drunk that's going to have to talk to your interview, you know. They suggest Tuesday through Thursday, whatever, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know, use this day to intercede on behalf of the unemployed, underemployed, mistreated, supervisors, inventors, government officials, entrepreneurs, and that there would be at least three real Christians on every block of every neighborhood and or communal housing who are prayer warriors, who worship Christ Jesus in spirit and in truth, and that we meet together at least once per week, rotating homes or not, as needed. Again, pray for specific results, agree with one another, and ask our Lord God Almighty to confirm an answer for you. Pray until you sense the breakthrough. Make it happen. That is, it may require that some, at least two, stay put and continue the prayer session. In Christ Jesus' holy and precious name, we do pray. Amen. So this will kind of give the idea that it would be ideal to have like two or three, and if you can, four, um, Persons who have like a flex, have flexibility. Okay, maybe they are, um, maybe they work from home, or maybe they're stay-at-home moms or dads. <clears throat> um, you know, someone that has that flexibility that they can keep on praying until they sense the pray breakthrough and pray together until they sense the breakthrough. 
Yes, we can always be in prayer and we can um, continue to pray about things even if we're not in the forum of prayer, intercessory prayer. But I think it does speak of volumes that Jesus himself took on a form of prayer. You understand he would go into a like, mountain top or secluded place and pray. And he was God himself, <laughs> you know, 100% God, 100% man. As he walked this terrestrial plane, took out time specifically to pray, took time away from people to pray. So, um, what does that say about what we probably should do? Okay, so that's day two of the foundational week that you would then rotate and, you know, you would do the week, then go back, start with the topic. Saturdays would be um, church leadership or lay leadership in terms of missionaries and such. Second day, like I mentioned here, those looking for work or officials in the government, supervisors, entrepreneurs, etc. Okay, and so that was day 94 of a daily devotion, which in this is the second day of a uh, weekly challenge that I hope that you would do for at least 30, 28 to 32 days. Okay, thank you for tuning in. Have an excellent day. And as you can tell, you know, the way these are designed, okay, this was what the recognizance missions, this is not something you're going to do in one day. So this is why I'm, this is a foundational week where I'm showing you and sharing with you my suggestions and then you have the rest, the other uh, 20 to 24 days to get to do it. You know what I'm saying? You know, absorb your neighborhood, um, absorb your workplace and others places okay absorb the laws regarding um, um, homeschooling okay things that we ought to be in prayer about thank you again for tuning in and this was shorter but still not typically as short as I like to keep it I like for you to be able to um, get this done and in, in less than um, get the whole study for your day done in less than half an hour and I, I prefer for you to be able to do that in just, you know, 15 minutes or so a break time. And I'm just talking about your, listen to my piece of it. You know, you, you will go on and do some study, etc. So, you know, at least half an hour of your day with the Lord. Thank you for your time. This is SJ336 with Stephanie Jeanette. Have a great day.